What's up guys, it's your boy Jordan back with another e-commerce video. Finally back in LA, back to my crib, away from vacation, which was a really good time to be honest. I got to get my mind right and it was well, but man, I can't tell you guys how excited I am to be back in my office and ready to grind. I got so much dope stuff planned and I'm excited to bring you guys along the way. But in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the best long-term strategy for e-commerce. You'll see with a lot of YouTubers, and I've been guilty of this myself on my channel, a lot of times I'm focused on ways for you to be making money right now. How can you get a store up and running and start seeing results? But it's not too often that you'll hear people talk about the next three years or the next five years or even the next 10 years. The reality with e-commerce is that it's not going anywhere. So if you're able to get your foot in the door at this stage in time, you can have the potential to be set for life. So I want to talk to you guys today about the strategy that I'm pivoting to and really implementing right now so that I can have success with e-commerce for many years to come and be sure of it. So if you guys like the quality of this content, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Now that I'm back home, I'm going to be knocking out three videos a week for you guys just like before so no need to worry the value is on the way also I have a free Facebook group you can click the link down below to join the group and it's great if you want to network with other e-commerce entrepreneurs or have any questions that you want me to answer it's an awesome community but anyways guys enough talking I know you're ready to hear the strategies and the value so that's what we're gonna do so let's get right to it All right, so like I said, e-commerce is not going anywhere at all. As a matter of fact, it's just going to continue growing and I can't really think of many realities in which this stops happening. You can see that a lot of retail stores are dying out right in front of our eyes and the e-commerce giants just continue to stockpile and grow bigger. Amazon is pretty much on pace to be the biggest company of all time if they're not already at that level and they're still growing day by day. So that's just one thing that you need to keep in mind. Like I said, a lot of people are marketing e-com as, oh, just get up, throw some products up and make a little bit of money. And while that is very possible, that is not necessarily the perspective that you should have. And I personally have had some perspective shifts in the last couple months as well, especially moving to this new area and surrounding myself with other killers in the e-commerce industry. That being said, you may be wondering what is the best way for you to solidify yourself in this industry and be sure that you can have success for many years to come. The key to this is building something that your customers can resonate with. So there are various ways to do this and I'm gonna break them down now. You see, the thing with a general store, it's a great platform for you to test products that are really hot in the market. And if you have the proper marketing skill set, you can make a absolute killing just like I have and just like my other friends have as well. But the downside to this is the majority of your purchases is just people who see something in their news feed or in their Instagram feed that is cool to them and they want to have it. So they click and buy it. And a lot of times that is where the relationship between you and the customer completely stops. Now, if you have the right email marketing in place, maybe they'll get them to come back for a couple more purchases, but a lot of the times, this is not going to be the case. So this is why I'm shifting my focus to a slightly different model. Like I said, general stores are great, but what my focus is on now is what I like to call a hybrid store. So a hybrid store is good because it has the characteristics of a general store. It allows you to test a ton of different products, but the thing with a hybrid store is that you narrow it down just slightly to a broad niche. So instead of selling any type of product to anybody in the world, perhaps you trim it down just ever so slightly. One example that comes to mind is women. You could sell products that is just for women. And this could be a ton of things. This could be apparel. This could be makeup. This could be workout gear but it's all tailored to women. And the thing is, this is just one example. Another example I can think of is outdoors or even um, sports, like just general sports. And in the sports store, you could think about Dick's Sporting Goods. They sell baseball, football, soccer, hockey, camping, shooting, etc. 
The thing about this is you still get to have the characteristics of a general store, which allows you to test a ton of different products. You're not limited, but you have something that your customers can see, identify with, and relate with. And it's something that they have the potential to come back and buy again, because like I said, it's something that resonates with them and it relates to the industry that they're interested in. So currently right now, I have a general store that I'm working on selling. I was making good money on it this year, but it's just not something that I'm so passionate about anymore. Um, like I said, I still teach people how to do it, and I think it's one of the best ways that you can get started with e-commerce, but now that I've stacked up a good amount of capital, I wanna shift my focus to building something more long or worthwhile, basically, for my time. And this hybrid store model that I'm explaining to you guys right now is gonna be one of the best ways for you to have long-term success with e-commerce. You could take it a step further and you could completely go into one niche, such as hiking boots or men's watches or something really specific. But I think for now, the hybrid store is really going to be the best option if let's say you're just getting started or if you're starting out and you have some experience already, but you wanna build something that's gonna be around a little bit longer. And a lot of the things that I teach can be directly applied to this hybrid store model that I'm talking about now. But there's another thing that I wanna share about this hybrid model that many people don't talk about and it's something that I'm going to be educating myself on even more in the next upcoming months. So the real benefit of having a hybrid store is that you have a market that you know is the one that you're going to sell to, right? You know who your customers are going to be. You know who's gonna be buying your products. So this allows you to sort of reverse engineer the process. You can do research about your target market and determine what it is that they're looking for and you can bring them exactly what they want. With a general store, this is still very possible because you're not doing it in a niche, more so you're doing it in general, what is things that the market as a whole is buying but the difference with the hybrid store is that you can break it down. Like let's take the example I used before, the outdoors niche. You could go to the various categories on Amazon or eBay, whatever it may be, and see what people are buying. You can join the communities and the Facebook groups and the forums, and you can see what people are asking about and see what people are saying. And it allows you to take it a step further. And like I said, I'll use the same word, reverse engineer the process. So this to me is probably the second biggest benefit of having a hybrid store. And this is why I'm kind of pushing that you guys, if you're just getting started, you can still start a general store. I still think it's very much worth it, but if you're looking for something more long-term, I think the hybrid store model is probably one of the best things that you can do. And let me say one last thing about this model. You can incorporate other elements into it as well. So like I said, let's say we're selling in a niche such as the outdoors niche, and you find a couple winning products. From that point, you can introduce non-physical products as well. You can start doing print on demand because you know what your market is interested in. And now you have a store that is not only drop shipping products, but it's selling print on demand as well. And you have two streams of income coming in from just this one store. And this has more scalability and your customers are going to be able to resonate with it because it fits with their brand image or the image that they identify themselves with. So essentially, to answer the question that I opened this video with, what is the best long-term strategy for e-commerce? The obvious answer is to build a brand in an extremely narrowed down niche. Not even extremely narrowed down, but just in a niche in general. Makeup, um, sneakers, apparel, watches, whatever it may be. That's the people that end up lasting the longest. That's the people that end up having those million dollar plus exits when they sell their company. And those are the people that build empires as opposed to cash flow businesses. But if you're looking for a happy medium between the general store and the full on brand building, which the brand building is not easy. It's a much longer process and it's one that I'm going through now. And once I crack the code on it, I'll be able to share so much value with you guys. But I will say, if you're just getting started with e-commerce, building a brand with actual suppliers and proper fulfillment and the whole nine yards is not the best thing to do from a beginner standpoint. If you're a beginner, you should start a general store or a hybrid store, and this is going to be your best bet. So that really answers the question. 
building a brand is going to be the best long-term move, but a hybrid store is the next second best thing and you can absolutely make a killing. So I think last year was a much, much, much better time to start a general store and it still is a great time, but if you're just getting started or looking to build something up now, the hybrid store method, I don't even wanna say method, building a hybrid store is probably the best thing that I would suggest to you. So take that information, you know, sit on it for a little while. If you already have a general store, keep running it, keep scaling it, keep making a ton of money. That opportunity is still there. I was just doing fine with my general store a couple of weeks ago. Just the other day, it's doing good numbers. So it's not like it's stopped working. It's just a little bit different if you want to have something long-term and not a short-term play. So think about it, think about what your goals are and move forward from there. I'll end on this one last point. Like I said, e-commerce, it's not going anywhere. If you're even remotely interested in internet marketing and online sales, e-commerce is probably the industry that I would suggest you getting into. If not, you need to learn social advertising. That skill is never going anywhere. And I'm gonna make a detailed video on why I think it's so important to have the advertising skill set under your belt, probably sometime this week. But the best thing that you can do is set yourself up for success in the long term. You can do really well in the short term with various different things, but start thinking long term. And this is a big perspective shift that I've had in my life, and I'm starting to see the benefits of doing so. So anyways, guys, I, I, I kind of rambled a little bit in this video, but I hope you understand the point that I'm trying to get across and see the potential in building a hybrid store. And I'll talk a little bit more about the hybrid store. If you guys want, I can maybe even make an example store for you guys or make a case study with a hybrid store, whatever it may be. I don't know. I'll come up with something. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for this video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one or want a more step-by-step -step guide to how to build an e-commerce business, you can click the link down below. I have a program that is called Zero to 100 where I cover every single thing that you would need to know to build a successful e-commerce business. This information is really tailored towards the general store slash hybrid store model. So it's directly in line with what I was talking about. And you guys are gonna be able to take that information and apply it right away. So check it out in the link down below. I'm not forcing you guys to click it or anything, but if it's something that is interesting to you, then by any means, you know, go through it and purchase and we can work one-on-one -on -one after you get inside of that. So enough pitching. I know you guys have a lot of stuff to do and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.